My name is Shreya Majumdar and today we will discuss about the top 5 interview questions which are frequently being asked by interviewers in the R and statistics interviews. The first question states differentiate between L apply and S apply. If the programmers want the output to be a data frame or a vector then S apply function is used. Whereas if a programmer wants the output to be a list then L apply is used. Therefore, we can say that S apply is a user friendly version and wrapper of L apply which by default returns a vector or a matrix. Also, there is one more function known as V apply which is preferred over S apply as V apply allows the programmer to specify the output type. The disadvantage of using V apply is that it is difficult to be implemented and it is more verbose. Moving on to the next question, we see that it asks name some function which can be used for debugging in R. They are trackback. The trackback function is used to give all the information on how the function arrived at an error. Second is debug. Debug allows the user to step through the execution of a function line by line. Third is browser where it states that the browser function is inserted into functions to open our interactive debugger. The fourth is trace, which is used in the flexible way of debugging. Fifth is recover. Recover is used as an error handler and not like the direct statement. The third question asks, what are the different types of hypothesis? There are two types of hypothesis, namely null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. A null hypothesis is denoted by H0, whereas an alternative hypothesis is denoted by H1. We can say that a null hypothesis can be defined as the type of hypothesis that proposes that there is no difference between the certain characteristics of a population, whereas the alternative hypothesis means that there is a difference between certain characteristics of the population. To understand the concept better, we will look at one example, which states that we have a few bottles containing 150 ml on average. Null hypothesis assumes that the volume is 150 ml. Testing this assumption is hypothesis testing. Whereas in alternative hypothesis, we assume that volume is greater than 150 ml or volume is less than 150 ml. Again, whether volume is not equal to 150 ml. Points 1 and 2 are known as single tail test, whereas point 3 is called the two tail test. In the fourth question, we are asked that what is the difference between regression and classification? We know that regression is used for predicting a continuous variable like sales, salary, etc. The algorithms used for linear regression are simple linear regression and multiple linear regression. Whereas classification is used for predicting categorical variable like gender, loan, whether it is approved or not and others. In classification problems, it is not necessary that the problem will always be a string. It can have number as well. The algorithms used for classification problems is logistic regression. The last and final question asks what are dummy variables and what is a reference category? To understand the concepts better, we will consider an example which has three unique values or columns who are CNG, diesel and petrol. For dummy variable, we see that the algorithm does it, it will convert the categorical variable fuel type into dummy variables. The second point under dummy variable states that there are only two dummy variables, fuel type petrol and fuel type diesel. The further explanation of the example states that fuel type diesel is denoted as 1, which means that fuel type diesel will be denoted as 0. Otherwise, the fuel type petrol will be 1 and fuel type petrol is 0 otherwise. If there are n number of categories in a categorical column, then there are no dummy variables. 
which is n minus 1. Whereas the first point under reference category states that fuel type CNG is known as reference category. The reference category which was not user specific is CNG because it is alphabetically first of the levels. Finally, we can see that the set of specific reference category by explicitly placing one of the first when specifying the levels. I hope you had a great time watching the video. Thank you.